Good morning, guys. Welcome to a day with no sleep and four children you, under 10. You are baby dog wants to go in the puddle. Yeah, my baby dog likes puddles. Don't go in the puddle. Go around the puddle. Around the puddle. We, you guys, I don't even know if I explained I everything that happened you. last night. <laughs> no, puddle. not today. <laughs> go ahead in Brooklyn. Or you know, you're afraid anyways. Two of our our grandkids are sick with the flu, like incredibly sick that they're gonna go home. They don't wanna go home, but don't touch anything. Jack, come on out. Because I don't want you to get sick. This is the scene of the crime. Aria is obsessed with my little doggy. Don't let her eat your donuts. Okay. All right, so there's puke everywhere and you are a puke eater, get out. Out. We have to pick up all this stuff that we left in here last night so that the kids can take their stuff home. And then I'm going to come and clean out the rest of it. Two of the grandkids are going to stay, so I'm going to just come out here later and clean up all the rest of it. Ellie! It is tornado weather. Oh, watch the puppy. Ellie! It is, the puppy loves this swing. Ellie! Ellie. Let Aria get on there Ellie. with you. <gasps> Sophie! I don't hit her. I only hit people that walk in front of her. She loves it. Alright, you want to go down to the barn? I'll be going in the house. Come down to the barn with us for five no, minutes. I'll then we're going to go make supper. I've been running most of my life. <laughs> you got her? She you caught her. You know it's me, <laughs> Okay, let her go. I am failing today. Failing. I am tired. Are you tired? Yeah. Yeah, we are tired. Are we having a nap after lunch? Yeah. <laughs> Don't know how many kids that'll agree to that. Oh, somebody else put all that stuff. So last night. I need my shining plate. It might be it's somewhere. Well, we're not riding right now. We're gonna have lunch. Last night, while all the kids were here. You might be surprised, but my brother came with his family. So they shed all of our horses. They just like to hang out with the horses and spend time with them. They shed and groomed every single one of them while all my grandkids were here. <laughs> Come here, Aria. So Brooklyn and Jacob went home. They were not feeling it. They wanted to stay. I told them they could stay. Like all the puking was already finished. Hi, uh, Gracie. Hi, princess. Her hair is looking nice. That's my baby horse. That's my baby horse. That's her baby horse. Come over here, Aria. No. Here, it's okay. It's okay. Aria is very particular. She loves her a baby horse. She says that's her baby horse. Not yet. Stay. Don't run right now, Jack. This is my baby. Honey won't let her leave. I know. Honey's like, I will be your baby horse. She also is addicted. She also is addicted to Ellie. They sat together today, and Ellie loves her too. Look, <laughs> honey's like, don't, don't pay attention. Aww, she loves you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day she'll be big enough, and you can ride her. But maybe when she's big enough, you won't be big enough. We'll have to. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah, she is little. She's got so much fur. What's wrong with Honey's hair? You see dirt on her? Yeah. Well, after lunch, we'll come down and we'll and we'll groom her. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you guys was that. Yesterday when I was doing, or this morning, when I was doing that crazy laughing, it was because I was sleep deprived and nothing else could go wrong. What? We're gonna ride horses. We're gonna ride horses. We're gonna wait. We're gonna go have lunch. First, we need energy to ride horses. We're gonna go make pizzas. We're gonna make our own pizzas. Send me off with the words of a lullaby. <laughs> Honey seeks out the, the kids. 
Anyways, last night, so imagine you're in a trailer, you have, it's already filled with stuff. You can't get any more stuff in there. You have no water, you have no washcloths, you have no extra blankets, you have nothing. And everybody starts puking and they puked all over everything. And you, there's not even a path that you can get out of your bed and walk without there being puke in it. Like it was, in, it was intense. But then imagine all that. So imagine all that. And then imagine that it is like torrential. <gasps> oh, and then imagine it is torrential rain pouring outside. And you have to try and get these kids that only have pajamas <laughs> because that you run out of everything else because everything's been either wet or puked on. And you have to try and get them into the house. <laughs> it was wild. And then I called Sam so many times and he didn't answer. And then thank God finally he answered. Cute? You like her? Uh-oh, did you see that? Penny maybe not, doesn't. Penny maybe doesn't like little kids. <laughs> But Honey does. She <laughs> likes you. She either likes her or she thinks that she can hurt her. She seems happy though. Oh, yeah. We just came down to run off a little bit of energy before we, because we were in the house with the sickies oh, yes. all morning. They just left. No, I'm tired. I just rode for an hour. Yeah, Sophie just went riding. So how was your ride? She went riding at the Paso Place. It was good. So she keeps riding there because she's learning trail there. And she's also learning um, she's still doing a lot of jumping there. Ellie, so she's doing jumping. So did you jump at all today? Yeah. Did you jump a lot? How many people were in your ride? Four. Four. Sophie loves it. Sophie is like the kind of person that makes friends everywhere she goes. Well, the person that's Sam's friend, um, she is my age. Yeah, like even if people are not her age, she even makes friends. Like she couldn't, last time she went riding with a group of older women, like, she honestly doesn't care. <laughs> See? The baby is always seeks her out. They have like this rapport. <laughs> it's so funny. I know, I cleaned this. Did you see me clean this? J Jacob and I cleaned this whole arena last night. It could be that, the, that she's got a bag of marbles and that Honey doesn't understand. No, Honey picks a person and follows her around. Yeah, she loves you. Oh yeah, there's another one there. If you go on it, Honey will. I love her. You love her? I love her. She loves the baby dog and the baby horse. <laughs> no, don't throw sand. Don't throw sand. <laughs> this is our version of our own little sand pit. No, 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 don't put sand on the horse. That will hurt her back. Why? Because it gets all against her skin, and then when we brush her, it'll make her feel uncomfortable. You want down? She said, bye, baby horse, I love you. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> and Honey's like, don't worry, I'm coming. <laughs> She's like, come, wait for me. Oh, like honestly. Ellie, get out of the way. Oh, Jack, Jack, close the door. Close the door. Me? Honey's like, don't do that. Honey's <laughs> blocking her off. I uh, know, man. So you know what's really funny is that Brooklyn and Jacob have gotten like big and are way more safe than they used to be around the barn. Chino's in for lunch. Everybody's having lunch now. We put Chino in so we could get enough. And then we put, we fed the rest of them outside. 
We also make sure that the baby gets enough because she's at the bottom and so we give her extra hay at night. She gets more. And we sometimes give Gracie extra. Uh, it's the two big ones, actually the three big ones that pretty much get most of the hay. Chino looks under muscled, but his weight looks really good. When our vet was here, he said his weight was fine. But we want to keep it like that for sure. Don't you know that you're beautiful?